done. Actually saving the Melzahar there. And drawing out the uh, the ultimates from uh, from Yi. Because he uh, he slowed him. Oh well, he tried to slow him. So killing all the minions with the whole team, and now they have a minion wave to uh, to push this turret. Blitzcrank not the best to defend the turret against the minions, so it's probably a good idea to just try to kill the turret. And I just noticed they don't have any physical champions that have range as well. This guy does physical damage, so our, uh, our Malphite here, Nocturne, does physical damage. And then this guy does mostly magic damage, so he does have a nice attack, but no attack speed. And as Raka, well, same thing. She is ranged, but doesn't really help a lot to kill turrets. Yeah, get this turret already. Didn't really matter that it hadn't uh, been killed before, but just just looks kind of silly to have a turret sitting there at uh, 50 HP or so. So Blitzcrank's um, innate ability going off there, using his uh, mana barrier, and if he stays in, if he doesn't heal up the next time, they will be able to kill him pretty easily. And the DPS champions coming in to take a look. So getting some of the jungle minions, but not, for example, the red buff. Red buff would be awesome. Not on Melfight, of course. But, uh, or on the Melzahar, sorry. keep messing up these two names in my head. Don't know if I actually mixed them up in the commentary so far, but... I keep messing them up in my head. And there again, Melzahar taking a few tower shots when really, if someone takes tower shots, it should be one of the tanks. Yeah, that was a nice rocket uh, grab from uh, Blitzcrank. So trying to escape here, but also trying to block for uh, Soraka. And doing a good job at that. Nocturne again coming in. <laughs> 1v3. But actually backing off this time. And therefore they get, uh, they get the kill without actually someone ha having to die for it. Because normally Nocturne died if he, uh, he does something like this. Already back up, wow. So they uh, can now push the turret once more. They have uh, this little tank dude which will help them get the turret down probably because he doesn't die too easily. Nocturne wisely not attacking anyone and not drawing any turret fire and therefore being able to run out. So it's probably a good idea to back off here because everybody is going to defend this turret in this really small space and this is where the advantage goes to the defender in this spot because it's all within turret range and you cannot really do anything and the opponents can do, well, everything. And that's why you die so often uh, in trying to get into a base. And you see it all the time. So Timo getting a little bit annoying here with all of his poison. <laughs> But Malphite has enough health at the moment, and he has uh, some magic resist even. Up to 118 magic resist, meaning 54% reduced damage. That is a really nice number. It means that Teemo becomes a whole lot less effective against him. 
Because, well, he works on armor. He has, at this point, 166 armor. That's 62% reduced damage. And Timo is going for kind of a mixed build. A good build. Better than what we uh, what we normally see. So some really nice action going on here. Probably should be going for Timo a little bit earlier in the fight. Because Timo and Yi are the two that do the most damage. Not this Kasselin dude. And Kasselin is uh, going to get out of there anyway because of his Rift Walk. His uh, ultimate. Which, will be, uh, which basically gives him a flash every... Uh, I don't know, something like 10 seconds. And it, they do cost more mana with every time you use them in a certain period. But um, yeah, it doesn't really matter too much. Because if you're trying to get out of there, it's not really the problem that you have to spend a little more mana on that. It's only early game that you don't have enough mana to do it twice or three times. But normally you can use it pretty well to escape. Soraka again, the one face checking here. Oh. Someone running into a mushroom somewhere. Come on, get him. Get this Yi. Oh, Yi has a... <laughs> He has a guardian angel. Come on, dude. I mean, I uh, I said in the last video that everybody should get a defensive item, and I still say that. I mean, don't get me wrong, everybody should get a defensive item because they're highly underrated. And, um, yeah, getting a guardian angel is not really what I meant by that. Guardian Angel is really too much of a defensive item on Yi. It doesn't add anything to your DPS. It doesn't give you, well, that much in survivability. It's much better to go for something that provides you, for example, with health and armor, or health and armor and damage, or something that actually adds to your overall theme of, well, doing damage as well as surviving. Oh no, he's dead. Yeah. And they don't actually get the revenge kill on Yi because he has Guardian Angel. So we cannot see a whole lot going on because, well, <laughs> we can only see the names. I can toggle the names if I'm correct. Um, should be something like this. Yeah, there we go. But yeah, it doesn't really matter. I like the fact that they uh, they put it in there. So that you can actually re remove the names and then you, you have a little bit of a clearer area. And you can also uh, disable all of the health bars, of course, but you can do that in a normal game as well. Don't know if you can turn off the names in the normal, uh, normally in the game. Here it's Shift K, so I'll have to check it out in the game. So farm-wise, while we wait for Malphite to actually come back to us, uh, farm-wise we see that Malphite is at a nice third place here in his team and in a, well, third place overall as well. And, well, they have three champions that are well over 100. 
and the enemy only has two that are over 100 and one of which is well over 100. So even if they didn't have this uh, this huge advantage uh, in just kill gold, they would still uh, have the advantage in the minion gold. It's only Teemo seems to be farming uh, efficiently. But that probably means that he doesn't have a lot of uh, mushrooms runs the map. And it's already a surrender, unfortunately. <laughs> so, not a very long game. It was a very nice game to see how Malphite works in the early game. And, um, yeah, I don't mind in the least that he got... Uh, he got so much kills because, well, sometimes that happens and, well, we can see that even in the low levels this is a good tank and, um, well, at least he didn't get fat in, uh, in the first 10 minutes or so. So we got to see the real way this hero functions. We got to see him tower dive at like level, I don't know, 6 <laughs> and escape with under 10 health. So, nice game, thanks for sending it, and so this game proves once more, even if you're low level, I will cast your games if you have a nice one. So I'll see you next time, GG!